What is up, guys? Your boy Sun Twisted. It is Friday. Road to Ripped update. Um, I actually just took my weight scale, saying that I'm 324, but I don't really trust that scale. Since I bought it, it's been giving me inconsistent readings. Um, three days ago, it told me I was 327. Two days ago, it told me I was 329. Yesterday it told me I was 328 and today it's telling me I'm 324. Now it is possible, you know, your body weight fluctuates and water weight loss and, you know, body burning calories to keep you alive while you're sleeping would result in weight changes, but I don't know about that scale. I don't really trust it. Um, I used another analog scale that we had in the house and it's telling me I'm 280 and I, I definitely don't trust that 280 shit. So... We're going to go hit 324. Um, I believe today is day 16 of the reconstruction of Sun Twisted. Um, when I first started, the last time I weighed myself before I started, I was 337. And I used the scale at the dialysis center that my mother goes to that they used to weigh the patients. So I was 327 then. So going, excuse me, 337 then. So going by that, if this scale is actually accurate. Went from 337 to 324 in 16 days. So we're talking about what? 13 pounds lost in 16 days. So again, I don't know how accurate that scale is. Um, I know Goat has a scale that, he, you know, I guess he, he feels the scale is pretty good. So I'll, go, I'll weigh myself on his, you know, if I can get him here or get over to his crib. And just to compare and see how accurate this thing really, really is getting me to, to my weight. But, um... About to get my workout started in about an hour here. I actually went and picked up some stuff. Um, Cause Go was talking about nitric oxide uh, on Twitter last night, so I went and picked up a nitric oxide shot just to see what it, you know, how it works. So we got NO explode. Um, forgot the name of the company that makes this. This is the Green Apple. It's a nitric oxide shot. Basically, nitric oxide is supposed to give you more energy focus, drive, clarity to do your workout, I guess, so so you don't half-ass do your workout, so you actually, you know, have the energy and, and the drive to to go full speed ahead and maximize the performance, so, I mean, this doesn't have any instructions on how to take it, other than you should take it 30 minutes, at least 30 minutes prior to your workout, so we're going to take that, this shot, hopefully this doesn't taste like ass, Hmm. Eh. Kind of tastes like a five hour energy. So basically, an energy shock boost. I believe this has like a, uh, what was it, 150 milligrams of caffeine. For every one of these, hopefully this doesn't turn me into a jittery bastard. And I also picked up some whey protein. Um, this is supposed to help you build lean muscle faster and, you know, for recovery after your workout. You know, showing on the back here four times the muscle, six, six star pro nutrition whey protein. So we'll see. This cost me about, what was this, like $21, this is the banana cream, the shot cost $4.29. Um, they actually sell the nitric oxide in containers like this, but it's like $30. And I wanted to test it out first to see what it does, and how well it does what it does, before I drop that much money on it. But yeah, I got the whey protein, I already bought the, the shaker bottle with blender ball the other day, so I could mix this up. And, give me one moment. Down what I'm about to have for lunch or breakfast or whatever you want, however you want to go about it. So, went to this uh, spot called Mana by my house. I don't know if you could make that out. It's basically slices of chicken breast, broccoli, cucumber, all of that. So, my proteins and carbs right there. I'm about to bust this down and then get my workout in um i 
alternate days with my workouts. So what I normally do, one day I'll do biceps, shoulders, chest, and then my cardio on uh, on this Everlast heavy bag. I actually got Box Rutan's um, MMA workout, so it does boxing workouts, Thai boxing workouts, and full body workouts, so you're doing punches and kicks. And the full body workout, you're doing sprawls and all types of you know, floor movements and push-ups and all this other shit. Along with the boxing and the kicking, it's like 30 minute workouts. Either 2 minute rounds or 3 minute rounds and then a minute rest. So I do my weightlifting and then I do, I do this right here. Um, right now I'm doing 15 minutes on this after the weightlifting. Working my way up to the full 30 minutes on it. Um... And the alternate days, I do my legs, so I do, you know, the front of the thighs, calves, and hamstrings, doing the, the leg extensions on the bench. Um, I do squats with the weight on my back, and um, calf raises, do um, squat jumps, and, you know, in here, I have a rope, but the ceiling in here is too low, so I just do... I do the jump rope motion without the rope. It actually works. It, it does build up a sweat. Your legs get tired from it. Um, jumping jacks, you know, childhood exercise. Actually, I read. I just read up online that you actually burn three calories for every jumping jack that you do. So those are the workouts I do, and I just alternate them days. You know, I alternate them. One day I do upper body. Next day I do lower body. So then when I switch up, I might do. I do, you know, try to do back core and triceps on the next upper body day and then again hit this for cardio that's when I'm home when I'm not home you know when I'm not working out at home I actually have a membership at Bali and I go there and I pretty much do the same muscle groups but being at Bally's has multiple machines I do different things I do I use different machines and I'll use the the shoulder press machine um, you know, do the butterf do the butterflies, do the, they have the preacher curl. I actually don't like the preacher pad on this bench. It's very uncomfortable. So when I go to Bali, I use their preacher pad. It's, you know, it's a giant block of foam here and the arms sit in front of you. You put both arms and grab it and pull it up. So it's a lot more comfortable and it really works the biceps. So I use their preacher pad. I use the rope with the, um, the pull down for the. For my triceps, um, you know, you have various other machines that work your chest and your abs and all that. So that's what I do when I go there, and what I do when I'm when I'm here. As far as my nutrition goes, um, I don't eat the same things every day, but what I try to do is, you know, monitor the portion control, make sure that there's protein in there, lean meat, um, very little carbs and starches like anything white white sugar white flour bread potatoes i avoid because they turn into sugar quickly in your system and that causes you to to gain weight because the only way to get that sugar out of your system is to stuff it into your fat cells so avoid eating that stuff to to prevent the overproduction of insulin that forces you to to put on more fat to get the toxic sugar out of your bloodstream so that's basically what I do. I don't really, like I said, I don't follow a specific nutrition guide. It's just monitoring the portions, try to eat every three hours, and make sure that I eat breakfast, you know, within an hour of waking, eat a big breakfast to kickstart my metabolism. And it's basically it. I might, I might start getting to a more regimented nutrition plan as this goes along. But right now, like this first month, I'm really just working out my exercise routines and my diet and eating and see how effective it is you know so far I've lost about 13 pounds so you know 16 days in so another 14 days we'll see how much weight I've lost if I if I like the the results and you know not just the results in the weight loss but how I guess not how effective but how how easy it is to maintain doing the stuff day to day with the other stuff that needs to be done then I'll stick to it if I feel like, you know, something's too time-consuming to do it this way or 
So, you know, something else needs to be done, I'll do it another way. I actually bought a couple of containers so I could make pre-made pre meals. So that all I have to do is microwave it and eat it and don't have to worry about cooking every day. Because eating three times, eating five, you know, five meals a day or every three hours, you run through food very fast. And you don't realize how fast. Like, I'll cook a bunch of stuff and then eat it. And it's like, okay, all the food is gone. And it's like you got to cook again. And it becomes a hassle cooking every day or, you know, trying to find food every day that fits into, you know, into the, the healthiness and, and all that. Sometimes you don't feel like cooking. Sometimes you don't feel like going to look for food. And skipping a meal is kind of, you know, destroying what you're trying to do because you want to keep your metabolism high. And when you stop feeding your body, it goes into starvation mode. So now you're storing fat instead of burning it. And that's the exact opposite of what you want to be doing. So... We'll see another 14 days. If I feel what I'm doing is effective and I like, you know, how everything's flowing, I'll just keep doing it like that. If not, then I'll get on a more regimented, you know, nutrition plan. Um, what my plan actually is, I'm going to do the workouts the way I'm doing it now for the first month. Only because I haven't really been working out that often before, before this whole change. So, I'm going to do that for the first month. And I actually have Insanity and P90X here, so after the first month, I think I'm going to actually then start transition into doing Insanity, and the only reason I didn't start it off from the beginning, regardless of what they say in that infomercial, those exercises are for intermediate to advanced people who've been working out, you can't start that from being sedentary and then jump into that, it's too much work on your heart, it's too much work on your lungs, it's too much work on your muscles, and then it's a lot of jumping around, so you can cause a lot of injuries to your knees, your ankles, especially if you're very overweight, you know, all of that weight being dropped on your joints and on your mu underdeveloped muscle, you can cause injury to yourself. Um, I know when I when I first doing like, I felt a little bit of pain in the joints, but what really made me stop was I literally could not breathe trying to get through the fit test. Kind of felt like I was having, you know, I don't, I don't know what an asthma attack feels like, but it felt like it was coming on. Like, that's how tight my chest was getting and how hard it was literally to breathe. You know, not just, okay, you're, you're breathing heavy and panting, but literally like you're being choked of, you know, deprived of air. So it was like that, you can't just start jump into that kind of workout. It's too intense. You know, and any workout you see, they tell you, you know, seek a physician before you start doing any type of serious workout because you got to make sure that your your heart and and your body can actually take that level of intensity for that long. And this workout's a forty minute stream with minimal rest, so it's like it's, it really is too much. Now, based on how I felt doing it, I really believe that that shit really works because from like my knees to my neck was on fire. Like somebody just turned a furnace on. So I can see how it really burns fat and strengthens your muscles and, do, and does all of that. But I really think you need to have, you need to be working out for a little while first before you try to jump into that program. You know, especially if you're seriously overweight, because it, it just feels like it's too much on your body at once. You need to work up to that. So, you know, something to think about if you're thinking about getting insanity. I don't know about P90X. I haven't used it. It's actually my sister's. Um, Boss Rutan's joint really works you out too, but it doesn't, it doesn't go as crazy as, um, Insanity does, so you can work your way up to it, so it's, it's a, it's a intense workout, but you could still get through it without feeling like you're about to pass out from lack of oxygen, and it still gets you, you know, get your heart rate up, you're sweating a lot, it tires you too, your arms are fucking feel like your arms are ready to fall off, especially if you do it right after the upper body workout. Um, and if you're doing the leg kicks after you do the, you know, the leg workout, because you're doing kicks, yeah, it, it kicks your ass, but it's a good workout. So I would suggest doing something like that first, maybe P90X or even um, HasFit. If you don't know about HasFit, it's a free um, workout program. There's supposed to be like MMA dudes, but it's free, you know, on YouTube, free workouts. Um, I've been subscribed to them for like probably a month, going on a month now. Really good workouts, do full body workouts, and for most of them, you either need just two two um, dumbbells or no weights at all. So you can check HasFit, good workouts, um, six pack shortcuts, also on YouTube, gives you free workouts, free home workouts, 
and a lot of and, and their home workouts you don't you, you don't need any weights you just use a towel that you hold taut while you do the workouts and it gives you full body workouts so you can check those out but you know so that's that's my video for today this Friday doing the, the updates we're supposed to be doing them every Friday industrial gamer zero X Shinobi I'm still waiting to see y'all videos for the um, road to rip yeah I still haven't put up your response videos yet. I know GOAT is, is ready to do it, um, Underdog ready to do it, my girl is, says she wants to get on this challenge too, so, you know, she's been going to the gym on her own at her job, when she comes here, she's going to be working out with me, I'm going to get her gloved up and get on this, get on that, start beating that shit up, and my boy Black Liberty also got in on the challenge, he just signed up for a gym membership at, um, uh, what the fuck is the name of that place? I forgot the name of it. There's something something fitness. Um has the purple and, and yellow Planet Fitness. So you just saw the Planet Fitness. We actually just went there for the first time on Wednesday, checked out the facility with him, did my workout there with him. He came with me to Bali the week before that. So he's getting in on it. Um Yeah, a couple people. Trash talking. I want to see more people get in on this. Um, I don't, a couple people said they, they would get in on it. They thought about getting on it. Listen, fuck the I would get in on it. Fuck the I probably would get on get in on it. If you're gonna do it, let's let's fucking do it. I don't care what else you're doing. Let's let's get it going. The whole point of this to lose weight. If you're already doing something else to lose weight and get in shape, that's the whole point of it. So stop the excuses about I would, but or I might, but fuck that. You would do it or don't do it. You know what I'm saying? It's let's let's get it going. Use each other as motivation to keep it going. Get in shape. Get healthy. Get that body. You know. So it's my update for Friday. Road to ripped. Um, day 16 of the reconstruction, but day five of road to ripped. So let's get it. Let's get in shape. Your boy Sun Twisted. I am out. Peace.